and welcome to Remodel Day One. We're taking this wallpaper down. So, I'm gonna show you my first attempt at tearing it down. Update, it is now like four hours later and uh, as you can see here, this is my progress. And I actually ran out of this piranha um, wallpaper remover, so I read online that if you mix fabric softener with hot water, it works too. And we have a dollar store right down the street, so for one dollar, I got fabric softener and hot water, um, and it works so much better. Watch, 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 come here. Okay, so check this out. Not coming off, right? So this is just my solution, hot water and fabric softener. Don't buy this, go to the dollar store. So, make it modern on a dollar store budget. And it is the next day, we stayed up until almost midnight, but not quite, finishing the wall. Uh, so yeah, it looks better already, there's not even paint on it. In fact, we think that the wallpaper has been there since 1984 when the house was constructed, because this is just drywall, there's no paint under it. So that's what that looks like. And then another quick tip we did find late in the night into doing this project, was um, instead of scoring the wallpaper, just pull from the corner and take as much as this top layer off as you can. That leaves the under layer, at least for our experience, and then you would soak the under layer with the solution we talked about earlier. That was much more helpful than scoring it. And uh, now that we got that done, we're gonna work on the prison here. So this is right by our front door. So right when you open the door, you're immediately greeted by this. So quick little project is uh, it's gonna be to get this taken down. Should be pretty easy and quick. So that'll open up the room a little bit more. What follows is a brief construction montage. So we've got the crack in the floor. That goes from one end of the living room all the way to the other. And by due diligence and research and texting everybody that we know, we came to the solution of getting an angle grinder and grinding it out. That way it's at least flat because the flooring calls for, I think, no more than an eighth of an inch out of level. Uh, so we're going to grind this down. We have some uh, self-leveling floor cement concrete stuff. Uh, so we're going to put that in, let it cure overnight, and then we will start on flooring tomorrow. So no time to waste. Let's go. Well, today is the day. Finally, we're putting in the, uh, the laminate flooring here. What? It's vinyl flooring. Got my little helper here. There he is. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get this started, and the goal is to have at least half the house done by today. We'll see if that works. Several months later. Well, we're all done. Uh, many moons have passed. I lost a beard, grew some hair, put some baseboards down, floors are all said and done, and we've moved in some furniture here just for the time being to get an idea of the layout. Uh, this right here is not permanent, however it is very cool. Hannah found this at a thrift store for only $200. It was originally $500, so quite a steal. 
Um, we have some paintings and mirrors on the wall. And the ultimate goal is to eventually build a custom built-in to serve as a bar slash uh, coffee spot. Who knows? Uh, our other plans are to eventually Venetian plaster this, so we don't know exactly what color yet, still trying to get some ideas. And of course the ultimate task is getting rid of those popcorn ceilings. So those will be a couple videos down the line, but as for now, the living room and the dining room are done.